This screencast is entitled Getting Started with Search in SharePoint Server 2010. My name is John Ross. I'm a SharePoint Server MVP and also a senior consultant with SharePoint 911. In this screencast, we're going to be talking about several, uh, several of the new search capabilities of SharePoint 2010. And, and here's a quick overview of, of the types of things that we're going to be covering. Uh, starting off with what's new for SharePoint 2010. What are the new search capabilities um, that, that SharePoint's bringing to the table? We'll also be discussing what the new end user search experience is going to look like and uh, then move on to talk about how the social capabilities of SharePoint 2010 have been integrated and, and married into the search experience. Um, and then toward the end of the presentation, we're going to be talking about uh, some of the IT Pro topics such as scalability and redundancy. Uh, lots of changes there and um, so we're going to be uh, making sure that we cover that at the end and there's even some more stuff that we're going to cover at the end uh, d as we sort of wrap it all up. But just a few words about search in general and SharePoint uh, SharePoint Server 2010 and, and the search experience. It, it really is a, a best-in-class robust search solution that has native SharePoint integration that allows for the searching of both structured and unstructured content. And, and what does that really mean? Well, I if you think of uh, if you think of all the content in SharePoint, by nature the content in SharePoint is going to be non-relational or could also be thought of as unstructured. You know, it, uh, it's just information that's, you know, such as like a file share or something that doesn't really have a, any type of primary key. Um, and, and obviously SharePoint can natively search. Uh, unstructured content, but it can also search structured content such as SQL databases and um, you know other type of line of business applications. So, kind of brings us to the next point: oh, what can SharePoint index? And as I mentioned, SharePoint search can index sh files in SharePoint, document document libraries, lists, um, web pages, things of the things of those types. Um, SharePoint can also index file shares. So if you've got content stored across your organization like so many people do in, in various file shares and, and different places, SharePoint can, can be set up to pull, that, to pull that content as well. So if that content exists today, maybe, it, maybe it's older content, doesn't necessarily make sense to be moved into SharePoint, you can, still leave it in, you can still leave it in the file share where it exists today and still take advantage of the SharePoint searching capabilities. You can also point SharePoint to any any type of content that's web accessible, uh, such as a external website, maybe your maybe a competitor site, or maybe your organization itself has some has some other websites outside of SharePoint that you want to make sure get in that get indexed, so that when a user goes in and types a search query, they can return results not only from the SharePoint content but also results from those from those other websites. Exchange public folders can also be indexed. Uh, again, very similar to the file share scenario, where if you've got a lot of content that's stored in your exchange public folders, that too can be included in your um, in in your result sets. And databases and line of business applications, if uh, SQL databases, Oracle, um, many of these other types of line of business applications, if you're storing product data, customer data, all of these types of things, um, SharePoint can be configured. To, to go ahead and, and index that content, whether it's simply pointing it at the other database or using the business connectivity services or the BCS to surface that information in SharePoint as an external as an external content type or an external list that can be that also can be indexed with SharePoint. What's new with search in SharePoint Server 2010? Well there's been uh, several changes and this is kind of a high level overview of what most of those changes are around. We've got we've got some changes to the search center, which is the the place where users go and interact with search and um, type in their type in their query and get results back. There's been some changes to the to the core search experience and how users are actually performing search. Um, Relevancy has also been tweaked and enhanced, and we'll talk about that as well as some changes at the uh, about architecture. And how specifically the the engine that's that's running search and how that works. 
So first we're going to talk about the Search Center. And for users that have used Search in SharePoint 2007, a lot of it is very similar. So you still have um, scopes, which would be um, different ways that, uh, that the information is uh, divided in your organization. So in other words, uh, by default, you're going to have one scope, which is going to which is going to be the all site scope that shows you content from across your organization. Um, but maybe if you were looking to view information a little bit more specifically in your company, like you know maybe just a uh, you want to see information from the HR department, you could set up a scope that specifically looks at the HR site so that you could go in, choose the HR site, run a search, and it would only t return you results from that specific department. You also still have web parts. The search web parts are what, uh, how you interact with searching in SharePoint. You go ahead and you type your query into the search box web part. The results are displayed from the core search results web part. Um, those are still there. Um, there's been a couple changes, but for the most part, those are still the same. Within your search center, you also have best bets. Um, and a best bet would be if you were to do a, a search, like say on on dog, and you knew that you as an administrator knew that when people searched on dog, they were most of the time, they'd probably really be interested in a certain document or something like that. You could set up a document so that, uh, or you could set up a best bet so that when people do a, a specific search, a specific result is always shown to them to you know, help them get to the content that they're looking for uh, more specifically and quickly. Advanced search capabilities are there that allow users even more control over finding the information that they're looking for. And then finally, we have a new uh, one of the new changes for the Search Center, which is the addition of the refinement panel or ref refiners. Um, we'll talk about that in a couple slides, so I don't want to jump the gun on that too early. Here's an example of what the new search experience looks looks like, and um, users familiar with 2007 um, will f will find this very familiar. You still have at the top, you have the search box. You type in your search, you run the search. The results are displayed in the center of the page in the core results web part. Um, we've still got the alerts and the RSS feeds in the upper right hand corner. Um, so again not really too significant uh no no significant changes here the the biggest difference is going to be that refinement panel over on the left um that allows you to see and visualize your results and and refine your results a little bit more specifically so that you could do a broad search and then get down to those results that you're looking for by clicking on the refiners here's a uh, here's an example of the web parts um, that are the various search web parts that are available. So when you create a search center, the search center is pre-configured with all of these web parts already already to go. Um, if you were to put the search center into edit mode, you would see you would see all the various uh, all the various web parts in web part zones. And it, it's possible if you were looking to customize the search experience, you could go in, edit, and modify the web parts, and change the settings to uh, get different search behavior to uh, to meet the various needs of of your search requirements. So the first place to look for that would be uh, the a couple of the the more more common tweaks would be changes to the search core results web part or changes to the search box. But uh, it should also be noted that if you have any page that has a web part zone, you could drop any of these web parts on any page and um, get a custom search experience. I mentioned a couple of times this the new concept of the search refinements and the refinement panel um, as we showed you is at the left hand side of the page and it's essentially a, a self-service drill down so a common way to use this would be if a user went in did a search on something like dog um, but they were looking for a specific type of dog like a German Shepherd they could start with dog look at all the results and then maybe on the left hand side there would be um, something that would there would be like a metadata tag that would allow them to to filter down based on german shepherds and then within german shepherds they could drill down even further until they arrived at the content that they were looking for so it's another way for users to to uh, get to the content that they're looking for maybe if they don't even know what they're looking for to start off with um, so anytime you you have 
um, you're giving your users more flexibility and, and in order to get to the content that they're looking for. Um, it helps to improve the search experience and help them to get more relevant results, which is really the key to searching. Another big change is this new query syntax for SharePoint Server 2010. In the past, in SharePoint 2007, a lot of users commented about, hey, I really wish we had the ability to support Boolean operators, or I wish that we had the ability to do wildcard searching. And the truth was, the engine of SharePoint 2007 actually did support these things, but they couldn't be accessed and utilized through the user interface. Now with, with SharePoint 2010, we now have the ability where we can type in these Boolean operators and, and wildcard searches directly into the search boxes and get the results that we're looking for. So you'll see an example there of a, of a query. Um, and you'll see that the query has parentheses and quotations and ands and ors and property restrictions. So you can type in advanced queries like this. The um, supports it right out of the box. And you'll, you can do very advanced searching directly from the search box. But maybe you want to do something, a, a more broad search. Maybe you aren't really sure exactly of a terminology or, or a spelling or something like that. You could type in the beginning of a search term with an asterisk and get and, and do wildcard searching or prefix matching that could help you do those broad searches. And maybe after you do a broad search, then maybe use the refinement panel to further get down and, and find the exact results that you're looking for. You can also use uh, various operators like the equals, greater than, less than, less than equals, greater than equals. So tremendous amount of power to eventually get down and find the exact co uh, content that your users are looking for. The relevancy formula has been enhanced. Um, this means that there is um, more fields that are that are being included in the relevancy algorithm, which only helps to to further um, give better, more relevant results. There's also the there's also now the the capability of doing URL fuzzy matching. So if you're typing in a search and don't exactly get it right, SharePoint's going to make an attempt to to try to guess that you meant something else based on your uh, based on if your query wasn't exactly right and then one of the other big changes that that we'll be talking about more is is the results click through and this means that when users are doing their queries and let's say you do my example query of dog and you get back a series of results um, as users get back those results and click on the results for that query the more often that users click on those results or click through um, the documents that are clicked on more are going to get a relevancy boosting within that query so that uh, organically the most relevant results for a given query will float to the top so that hopefully uh, that, that's going to over time mean that as your users are going in and just doing whatever they normally do the, uh, the, they're going to start getting better results just from using search and clicking on stuff. We also have enhanced multilingual support. Um, this uh, this allows for a automatic detection of language for many document types as well as improve rankings of documents in multilingual collections. Organizations that, global organizations that are supporting multiple languages now um, can take advantage of these new capabilities and get more relevant results across 